Welcome Pisces. I'm back y'all with another video. So this is going to be for February 2021. Yes. All right. <laughs> this reading may or may not resonate with you. If it resonates with you, good. If it doesn't, check your moon and your rising, your Venus, your North Node. Check out your other videos, okay? You can maybe get your messages from there. All right. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and click that bell to subscribe so you can be on another notification gang so you won't miss any readings, okay? All right, so we're going to talk about February, all right? What message is there for my Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, all right? Let's see what we got going on for February, all right? So we got a jumper. We got the king of wands, okay? Oh, you saying I don't like no lion, no lying or cheating person here. <laughs> All right, let me put this back in here because you know what? If it comes back out, then hey. But I feel like some of y'all are dealing with <laughs> a narcissist, somebody who's ego based or something like that, somebody who's manipulative, or you know, just sneaky. And you like, I, I, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want that. Ew, get that away from me. Mm -mm. All right, let's see. Pisces, Pisces. Give me a message for the Pisces, please. Pisces, are, if you are interested in booking a personal, that information is in the drop box below, as well as my website, guys, where I sell handmade ritual oils as well as spiritual pieces okay so you can check out the website all of that is in the drop box below okay so let's get started pisces pisces game all right so we got the wheel of fortune and the hermit oh so you're looking for something different you're looking for things to go in your favor you're looking for a shift Okay, some of y'all are like in hermit mode, okay? Like some of y'all are doing the inner work on yourselves. But I'm getting like things are shifting, okay? We got justice. Two of cups. King of pentacles. Six of wands. Four of Swords, Hierophant, Knight of Cups, the Lovers, Page of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. Oh, so you was dealing with somebody who's sneaky. Could be a Libra, could be a Taurus. I got Gemini and I got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Hmm. So you're looking for something different. I feel like you're looking for something different. I feel like you're tired of being in this karmic situation. Some of y'all, this is a karmic situation, okay? A karmic relationship somebody is in. Somebody could be in a relationship just for the money. Why is the justice card here? The devil. <laughs> Some of y'all are dealing with the Capricorn and it's karmic. Like I'm getting like a karmic cycle. Yeah, see, I'm getting like there needs to be an ending or there is going to be some type of ending because somebody can't find a balance or peace in this situation. Like I'm getting like some of y'all are hoping for something new. Like you want something new because I feel like y'all are over this. Like you don't want to put any more effort into this situation. You've been waiting for this person to reach out. Maybe this person ghosted you or you ghosted them, something like that. Why is the devil here? Oh, we got the tower and the seven of cups. So there is a decision that needs to be made. Okay. Somebody here has too many options, too many, too many hoes, too many us, too many. <laughs> this person got too much going on. Okay. Yeah, they probably be hopping from person to person. Like, yeah. 
Two of Cups and the Sun. We got Leo's energy here. But this is also like a final decision to end something with this. Possibly like a fire sign. Or you're ending. You're, somebody here is making a final decision to end this situation. This could just be like a sexual connection. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be focused more on your pentacle. Okay. I feel like, yeah. See, we got... Um, yeah, see, you're focused on your pentacle. You feel more uh, drawn to um, success than what's going on in this situation. I feel like you're... Got the high priestess. Yeah, I feel like you saw this coming. You saw something coming. We got the Four of Wands and the Empress. You're finding out a truth, okay, about a Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody could be contemplating. Somebody could be married here, and somebody here is contemplating on whether or not they want to get a divorce, um, or if they want to separate. I feel like there's a decision, like just out of the blue, like somebody makes a decision. Somebody here got played, and somebody here is also keeping a lot of secrets, okay? There's a lot of secrets, but I'm feeling like you saw this coming, especially with the High Priestess and the Two of Wands. Like, you saw this coming. You saw it coming. Like, your intuition, you was, was getting all types of signs. Yeah, it's like you're wondering what happened. Something happened. There was an argument or a disagreement here. Something happened here. And it's like, yeah, you know what? I saw that coming. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Ten of Wands. Okay, so some of y'all are dealing with the Earth sign. Somebody is in this. Could be for money. Okay, Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Like somebody here is getting financial happiness out of the situation like somebody's offering them their pentacle here and it's keeping you i feel like it's keeping you like glamorous keeping you i feel like your focus is on your money yeah see so like i'm getting like y'all are about to boss up so hard you're gonna make this person feel like they might as well go on about their business because they ain't gonna be able to keep up with you they ain't gonna be able to keep up with you why is the ten of wands here Yep, Six of Pentacles. I don't know if somebody's giving you money or you've been giving somebody money or something like that. Somebody's been giving somebody money. Somebody's waiting on somebody to offer them something. Why is the Six of Wands here? Yeah, see, for some reason, like, you're feeling... We got the Six of Wands... And the Ten of Cups. Like, this is success. And you being happy that something is successful. Yeah, somebody made a final decision. Somebody, are you happy that a final decision, a decision was finally made? Yeah, you finally get the truth. The Moon and the Ace of Swords. I feel like you lost, you was losing hope on the situation. You was losing hope on the situation, but it's like the truth finally gets revealed somebody's going to make a status possibly on facebook or something like that we got the four of swords in the past energy so you could have been possibly taking a break from this person or this situation, kind of like putting things on hold. Yeah, I'm getting like, <clears throat> you've been thinking about your finances. Queen of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, like you've been, you know, taking your goals more seriously. Like you put this situation on hold because it was a burden, okay? So you've been putting your focus on your money 
I feel like you really don't want to walk away from this person or this situation because you feel like you're going to miss them. But I feel like you feel like it's time for a change. You feel like there needs to be some type of change, okay, in this situation. Somebody needs to make up their mind. If, are they ready to settle down? Do they want this marriage? Do they want to, like, what do they want? Somebody here definitely needs to make up their mind what they want, okay? Now we got the Hierophant for future energy. You could be dealing with the Taurus. But I'm getting, like, some of y'all are really extremely guarded because there's something that you see. Like, some type of truth is coming out. I feel like you're spying on possibly a Taurus, but you're I'm getting like you're spying. Like you're you're really spying or somebody's spying on you. Yeah, see, you <laughs> you're not sure, so you want to go see the truth, okay? So some type of truth is coming out. Yeah, see, you're not sure if it's over. You're you're um You're not sure if something's over. Now, we got the Three of Swords and the Seven of Wands. This is somebody who has broke somebody's heart, okay? The Three of Swords and the Seven of Wands, that could be like a breakup, okay? Why is the Knight of Cups here? The Knight of Wands could be dealing with a player here, for sure, for sure, a player, somebody who plays too much. And I just feel like you saw this coming, like you saw this coming coming you saw it coming yeah like somebody here could possibly be married I'm just getting like you just saw something coming you know Pisces are intuitive and this is your chance to move forward to move on from it because somebody here, it could be after someone's money or something like that. Like, why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, I'm getting, like, somebody here. Is, there's a sexual thing, connection going on. That could be over with, okay? That could be over with. That could be the change that you're making. Like, you're cutting someone off. From your from them goodies, <laughs> you know you want the goodies. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting that. There's a breakup. Like this person is feeling like they missed the opportunity with you, and that is over. Like I'm getting like there's a lot of love here, but they're feeling some type of pain and sorrow over an ending, over a cutoff. Yeah, somebody got cut off. Yep, somebody got cut off and now they are single, okay? And they feel like they missed the opportunity with you. Mm. So y'all not playing. Why is the Seven of Swords coming? What is the Seven of Swords about? Queen of Cups. So you find out that somebody lied or Pisces, you are being sneaky. <laughs> What is this? It's like, why is the Queen of Cups here? Seven of Swords and the Queen of Cups Empress. Oh, yeah, there's a third party. There's a third party involved. Somebody here is jealous because of somebody's position. Um, why is the Empress here? That's the Mother card as well, too. Knight of Swords. King of Wands. Ooh, okay. Hmm. I feel like there's a there's a lot of sneakiness going on, okay? There's a lot of sneakiness going on around, surrounding this situation. Somebody's still stuck in the past, can't let go of something, can't move forward from something from the past, okay? And I feel like it's causing a lot of worry and anxiety, but somebody is feeling like they missed the opportunity because somebody walked away. Somebody walked away, okay? Somebody walked away from a liar. I feel like you walked away from a liar, a cheater, somebody who's manipulative, somebody who's full of themselves, somebody who thinks that they are, uh, they have the gift of gab and they are God's gift to a man or a woman. Okay, like, hmm. Somebody got to make a decision because I'm getting like there's a juggling act going on here for Pisces. 
All right, so you can clearly remove yourself from a situation if this situation is not benefiting you um, and helping you grow or helping some money grow or helping your situation. You can bow out, Pisces. You do not have to sit there and deal with no liar and no cheater and no sneak and no manipulative games, okay? All right, so I hope this message was helpful. Um, if you're interested in booking a personal, that information is in the below, guys. Check out my website www.empressempireoils.com and I will chat with y'all on the next video, alright? Ciao for now.